Hi, I'm Natalie from House to Home and I'm here with uh, money saving guru Martin Lewis. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure. So bank holidays are coming up, traditionally a time when people buy some big ticket items for their homes like sofas and washing machines. Have you got any tips and tricks for people hitting the shops this spring? Well, the first thing is I think what you have to do is become a savvy time shopper. We know traditionally in the run-up to this year, many of the big DIY stores, your B&Qs, they launch vouchers. They tend to be discrete vouchers. It's not something you'll get a discount if you go in store. So you need to be on the voucher websites and ready to pick those up to get your 20% off. When it comes to buying your big electrical goods, I'm afraid the high street's going to hate me, but it is online where the action is at. So what you need to do there is really be thinking about what you want. Define your needs first, then get yourself onto a shopping robot price comparison site and make sure it's the cheapest one that you can possibly get because there's huge price variances out there. Remember, you have extra rights buying online than you do buying in a shop. So, rising energy bills are a big problem for a lot of householders. How can people make sure they're getting the best deal possible? Currently, someone in with typical bills would be paying £1,400 a year on a standard tariff. Cheapest tariff on the market is around 1100 You could fix, that means guarantee yourself no price rises for a set time, at just under 1200 And yet, most people sit on their backsides and don't bother. So the easy answer is get yourself on a consumer-focused approved comparison site, do a comparison, find out who your cheapest is, if you want, I've just also launched a thing called the Cheap Energy Club. And what that does is it finds you your cheapest, but then importantly, most cheap deals in the market only last 18 months or two years. So you'll be cheap for 18 months, and then your rate will rise. And if you don't do anything, you're going to be paying over the odds. What the Cheap Energy Club does is we, then, we remember what you're on, and then every month in the background, we do a comparison for you. We'll try and find what your cheapest tariff is, and then we'll tell you when it's time to get a cheaper one. Hard work. Yeah. And um, have you got any advice for people how they can actually make money from their house? The, the ways to make money these days, if you're just looking to add on, rent out your parking space. If you've got one, is a big one and you're not using it. There's a number of websites that enable you to do that. Always go around. If you're going to be looking at your interiors and renewing, don't think anything is scrap. One man's junk is another man's treasure. Make sure you're eBaying it or getting it out onto the car boot sales and finding out what the best price you can get is. Go through everything in your house. My general rule is if you haven't used it in the last year, are you ever really going to use it again? In which case, maybe it's time to get rid of it, get yourself some cash for it. Just finally, I've got a few questions. If you can just answer them in one word. <laughs> I'm not good at one word. It's going to be tough for you, right? Yeah. Um, okay, so paint or wallpaper? Paint. And what was the last item you actually bought for your home? Something for my little girl, that she, such the little mat that she lies on and has the mobiles above her. And what would be your desert island home accessory? A can opener and 50,000 cans of food to go with it. And last question, um, city or countryside? City. Brilliant. Thanks, Martin. Pleasure.